Yo, what up, Cotton? Yo, what up, Mixie Pixie? What you doing on this dock? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I'm not ready to match that energy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to do an adventure. I think this is going to be... what the last one was. What, what did, I can't remember. It's been. It feels like it's been forever since we did one. Yeah. And it was such a kind of a write-off that I honestly kind of forgot. But I've been told this is a decent one, so... Well, let's go ahead and get things underway, I guess. We got a god spawn again. No joke. Second hop. I'm just gonna say we live in we live at Sanctuary. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good outpost. I mean, look at it. It ain't you golden, but look, you see that little island over there with like the creative letters? That's my that's my pad. All right. It's just like IRL. <laughs> yep, I send out cards. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hey, All right. Pirate, go on. Surprise I need your me. help with something. All right, talking to Lorena. Uh, begin adventure. I'm ready to help Madame Olivia with Tasha. That's right. From Madame Olivia herself. Looks like you impressed her last time you met. Oh. She's asked that you speak with her at Plunder Outpost. You might want to hurry. I've learned it's best not to get on her bad side. No pop-up? Okay. All right, find a cure for Tasha. Madame Olivia needs your help with Tasha again. She's the head of the Order of Souls at Plunder Outpost. Things are getting worse. Lorena. All right, the plunder we go, I guess. And for those that are curious, we are using the Oreo ship set. So I know almost every every one of these videos, we do have the comments. So we're using the Frostbite figurehead, the, uh, what is, what is this called? The Valiant Corsair hull sails. And then for the wheel, we are using Winter's Fire Wheel with the Frostbite cannons and the Frostbite capstan as well. I actually like these cannons. They're... They're not bad, and this whole color scheme goes perfectly, I think. The oh brown, eh, not so much, Ice but... blue kind of... Thing. Well, it's kind of like... It, it kind of pulls it in from being so, like, monochromatic, you know? Mm-hmm. I think it's pretty good. I don't know. I do pretty well with these cannons, but I guess we'll head on over to Plunder and get things underway. All right. Scouting out right now. Yeah? Yeah. We're to your I L5C. I, th I think the I think the coast is clear. I don't see anybody, you know, scoping in. Nope. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh. Yeah. We'll scope that island over there. <laughs> and we're scoping the sandbar. <laughs> scoping the sandbar. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, here we go. Look. Oh. That's a Madam Olivia. The Order of Souls. Welcome. Hi, I'm Madam Olivia. Have you returned to help me with Tasha once more? Uh, continue adventure. Lorena sent me to help with Tasha. Once more, I bid you welcome. It has been some time since we spoke of a cure for Tasha's curse. Briggsy believed that a cure did indeed exist. A remedy created by the ancients long ago. Her memories are quite clear. Yeah, when I was young, Briggsy told me all about her hunt for the secret stars. Whatever those are. Funny thing, though. Some of my pages are missing. I don't remember doing that. No matter. I have imbued Briggsy's mask with her memories. Use it and Tasha's drawings to guide you through the wilds. Oh, before you go. This is one of Briggsy's gifts. But it matches a picture from the book. Thought it might come in handy. I would advise caution, however. Briggsy never did obtain her cure. If you follow in her footsteps, I fear you are fated to discover why. Interesting. Okay, so you notice something? They don't have any of the music anymore. Well, so I got the music at the end of it when it said Secret of the Wild. Like the, the bar that came up. It played the music box. Oh my god. What Cotton, it? come here. Look up. <laughs> this is so cool. I like this. This is kind of neat. All right. Uh, so we got this Wonder. and here. Okay. Um, I'll read the book, I guess. Yeah, you read. Ooh, okay, this is gonna be a weird one. Alright. 
This book belongs to Tasha, so hands off. It's like a child's diary. Look at the crayon drawing next to it. Yep. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tasha. I'm five and three, three quarters. Almost six. Oh, it is a child. <laughs> My best friend is Briggsy. She is really brave and the bestest pirate ever. This is the story she told me about finding the cure for the horrible Skelly curse. I've done the drawings to make it more exciting. Briggsy sailed first to that crooked place. Second to that old faithful island. Then third to Marauder's Arch. All right, so let's head on over there. Let me know where we go. We go to Crooked, to Old Faithful, then the Marauders. They really went budget on the art this time. <laughs> oh my god, Cotton. All right, I guess we'll head over to Crooked. All right, well, we're almost a Crooked Mass. I think this is the first island we start at, right? Crooked to Old Faithful, then to Marauders. <gasps> Mr. Ray. Ooh, look up right here. Yeah, isn't that cool? It's like right in front of us. Oh, oh, look above us. All right, so uh, Briggsy used the mask to see red stars. Briggsy bearing keys and stone thingies. All right, so a starry owl and a pretty butterfly. She hid some keys under them. So it looks like on the northeast and the south. Oh, the music. Whoa, put your mask on. Oh, look, 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 there's the butterfly. There's the butterfly. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, Snake, you are ruining my immersion. It must relate to the other constellations somehow. <gasps> Butterflies are colorful and fleeting. They hop from one look flower to the next in search of what? nectar. So perhaps this is a person who shared those traits. But it must be an important one to be placed among the stars. Everything are ruining my immersion. So this was the one complaint people were saying about this adventure is everything spawning really kills it. Lines up. Oh, I got a key. Palace key. Oh, dude. That's kind of cool. It's a nice looking key. Yeah, that's a cool one so far. I'll take this back to the ship and then um, I'll join you in a little bit here. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Here you go. Right. I is... killed everything. Ooh, look above. Oh, yeah, it's above us. Got it. We're looking for a story that leads us to the skeleton curse and its cure. This is the beginning of that story. An owl. My belief is that it represents a wise leader. Perhaps a king. Wow. So then we dig here, right? Yep. Would you like to do the honors? Ooh, another key. A crown key. Ooh. So it's yeah, it's check this king. out. Oh, it's right here. Yep. <gasps> this one's more abstract. These peaks do not represent a real place. Believe me. I looked. Oh, you can see Briggsy. They seem to indicate a difficulty. Like a mountain to be climbed oh. and overcome. Uh -huh. Maybe the butterfly is the son or daughter of the king. A carefree prince. But bound by duty. So he had to shape up and do something worthwhile. Or prove himself. Oh, it's Briggsy's chest. Nice. Okay, so that one's a little bit more difficult, but I forgot you could go a little bit higher on this one. Oh, run, Kyle, like run. Yep. <laughs> All 
I'm grabbing it I'm going. And I broke my legs, but that's fine. That's kind of cool. I like it so far. This is... I'm appreciating the, the storytelling. Like, so the people were like, uh, anything Briggsy related is usually pretty bad story wise, like storytelling wise, but this is so far, it's been pretty good. I've actually enjoyed it. We got this. Do any of these open this? Oh, it does. Keys required to unlock. I'm unlocking them, okay? Open. We've got a small tone fragment, a sapphire gem, and a silver cup. Oh, yeah, look. We connected to the other one. Oh, okay, okay. So we had the first fragment, which is the red. Now we got the green one. All right, I guess we'll head on over to Old Faithful. Uh, oh, man, I'm, I'm liking this one so far. This is so much better than the last one. All right, you ready? All right, let's go and raise. I need to not double gun <laughs> my bad. So for this one, um, if I'm looking at the thingy, it says creepy spider. Yeah, creepy spiders, a beautiful panther. So on the east and southwest side. So you want to start this side first? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Oh, come over here. The music's getting intense. Here it is. Got it. I remember this. My favorite. A oh, there's Brixie too. Beautiful and deadly. Remind you of anyone? <laughs> so, I feel a connection to this one. A strong woman who gets given a bad rap. My intuition tells me we're looking at another relative of the king. Or the prince. Alright. Go ahead and dig. Chalice key. Um, I'll just carry that with us, I guess. Oh wait, there's a treasure chest literally up here. We can just repurpose that. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's a treasure chest. Nice, that's huge. Yep, I think I'm right on the spot. Well, I'm glad they at least give you an indication of when you're relatively close to it, you know? Mm -hmm. That's so huge. Alright, you ready? Mm-hmm. Pull out your mask, Cotton. Oh, look at the spider. Oh, oh, that's cool. Got it, here we go. Right, yes. A black widow spider. As deadly as one of Sud's terrible jokes. Reckon she's a weaver of webs, too. And that means lies and intrigues. A woman close to the king. An advisor, or perhaps his queen? No doubt she led him astray somehow. Well, thank you for waiting, AI. Oh. <laughs> My bad. And the next one is zoom. Okay, so... Each of these have a zoom like for the stars, so I actually want to see this. Yep. Alright, so this is on the northwest side. So northwest side, it's over here. Probably near this. Let me see if I can capture one of these. Whoa! Is it crazy? That's crazy actually. <laughs> Holy crap! That's what you meant? Like the stars? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was like. Look <laughs> up, look up, look up. Yeah, it went away <laughs> when I saw it. That's crazy. That's cool. Maybe it's on top of this rock? The arch, you mean? Oh, maybe, yeah. Uh... Alright, you ready? Mm-hmm. Look here at we... it. Here we go. God dang it, man. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> it's AI. All right, here we go. This one had me beat for a while, but I worked it out. Of course I did. It's me. Old Suds used to say the palm tree had a ceremonial or even religious importance to the ancients. So, 
This palm tree must be a temple, even where the trials took place. If it is, then maybe the king's wayward son went there to prove himself, and he was probably manipulated by that vicious widow. But where is that blasted temple? Sapphire gem, bronze secret keeper, and another fragment. Okay, we take this. All right, and then the next one is Marauder's Arch. I'm gonna drop anchor. Okay. Oh, oh. Got it. All right, so this one, um. It's going to be on the south side and the east side. Oh, right here. Ready when you are. Here it goes. Now, where are we? A fox? Or a vixen? Cunning for sure. Like me, another strong woman. But there's something about her place in the story. Made me think she wasn't a villain, this one. We should dig a bit more. See what we can find. Oh, now I get it. She comes after the temple, right? She's the high priest. Why didn't I see this last time? Diggy diggy. This one, so that's south. The east one, I think, is gonna be near the fort. Hourglass. This is all beginning to make sense. So, it's an hourglass. Big deal, right? While lesser minds probably couldn't solve this, I could see it meant two options right or wrong. The sands of fate. A choice. Go one way. Or the other. I understand now. This must be a decision you have to make in the temple. Might be up top here, actually. Yeah, over here, maybe. Oh, yeah. Ready? Go. Bit of a climb, but worth it for the last piece of the puzzle. Finally, the waterfall. Again, I looked for this. Thought it was the entrance to the temple. It had to be some kind of barrier with something hidden beyond. But I know what you're thinking, pirate. I see the shroud breaker. It breaks down the wall between two physical places. Of course. I can see it now. It is a barrier, but it leads to the Sea of the Damned. Probably green, like a phantom or an emerald. No wonder I could never find the temple. It was in the Sea of the Damned this whole time. Oh, she actually stays? I got one key. I got the other. Right. Amulet complete. Take it to Captain Brixie. Ooh, kind of cool. Oh, there's even a beacon up there now. Take it out. I landed perfect. I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. I talked to Brixie. Let's me and you. Alright, you've brought me back. Good work. But I'll take the amulet now, thank you. Oh. Well, well. Here I am. Oh crap. I don't know why you look so surprised. You can stop gawping. 
We've got a temple to find. Oh, crap. Yes, yes. I learned all about Tasha and the curse while we were sharing memories. According to what little sense is in your head, I'm dead. Which I'm trying not to take personally, by the way. The question is, how am I back? Oh, if you left. Oh! <gasps> I think that question might be meant for me. The Sea of the Damned has the power to manifest memories like the wilds as it existed long ago. When you took Briggsy's mask into those figments of the past, it was only a matter of time before she manifested too. And now, she can guide us in person with the amulet. Don't count on it, Crookie. Something tells me you're to blame for Tasha's curse. Correct. And the cure is sealed away within the temple. But we can constrain that curse until I decide otherwise. Buy your precious Tasha more time for the creation of my own devising. It will keep us safe while we locate the temple. But you must come with us before we surrender it. Very well, Warsmith. Once you hand over this creation, then we have a deal. But if you try anything, it will be your last mistake. Wait for us to go, then return to Tasha. Tell her she's going to be okay. I won't let her down again. Now hurry! Oh, whoa. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> Missing pages from Tasha's book. Whoa. Is this a cannibal? I don't know. What is Lord of the Rings? Welcome to right. Thunder Outpost. Hey, we're here. Alright, Arius. Alright, well, so you didn't need to do the treasury, but we did it anyways. That's my mistake. Because <laughs> I saw this picture, I'm like, ooh. Temple, treasury, and then we just happen to have like a treasury related thing nearby. So we did that, and then like, unfortunately, nothing happened. So I guess we just go to Tasha from this point, right? <laughs> yeah. Then we'll, uh, I guess, we'll offload after we're done. All right, Madam Olivia. Souls. All right, if you have Briggsy's mask and Tasha's book, you should have all the help you need to help, or all you need to help Tasha. Complete adventure. Briggsy took the amulet and disappeared with the Dark Brethren. I can't believe it. Briggsy back after all this time. And she's still looking out for me. Yes. And it would appear that Briggsy's sacrifice of her newfound freedom has paid off. Warsmith has indeed crafted this very special cursed cannonball to delay the spread of the curse. Ooh. As to the true cure, I can see it resides in an ancient temple, long since lost, in which lurks a great evil. Something dangerous enough to make Briggsy tear out the last pages of Tasha's story. Perhaps she left them behind as a warning. However, things are by no means over. The Dark Brethren hold all the cards. We must hope that Briggsy continues to serve their needs, or I fear. It's all right, you can say it. You fear I'll be lost. Well, I still believe Briggsy will do whatever it takes to save me. Perhaps that is wise. Right now, I'm afraid belief is all we have. I guess that's it? I have a feeling the pop-ups are, are supposed to work here, but they're just not working. <laughs> Alright, let me take a look. I do know this can bug out quite a bit, so... Just like every other... Alright! Congratulations! Memento has been added! Oh, you got a pop-up? Yeah. Well, oh, I still haven't gotten it yet. Alright, let's see where it is. Briggsy's mask. Did I get it? Oh, I did get it! Oh! Yo, it's kind of nice. I mean... What is it? It's uh, literally a trinket. It's 
gonna be on the left window if you want to check it out. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah. I don't mind that. But yeah, then some lame compass I'm never gonna touch. Yeah, the last compass, uh, again, this compass is the, sh the first one was such a. Like, I, I have yet to replace this. I don't think I ever will, just because even at nighttime, it's perfect. If anything, it's better at nighttime and it's still good during the day. But all in all, what do you think? Pretty good telltale. I liked tell -tell. it. I liked it. It was good. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. All right. Well done, Cotton. That was fun.